Welcome to this video in which we are being asked to compute a volume. So let's first try and understand the question. So what is being given here is a, uh, a sphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 9. So that is like a ball that has as its center the origin and the radius equals 3. So if I make a quick sketch with a z axis, a y axis and an x axis, and let's dash these because they go like here. I'm also I'm only going to be needing the top bit because it says here above the plane z equals zero. So that's the flat plane, the x, y plane. So uh, let's see, this is x, this is y, this is z. So let's let's plot that thing or try to plot it. So it's it's like a big circle in the ground plane. Radius equals three. And then the top here on the z axis is also at three. And then we have like this and like this. So this is like a half sphere, right? And then here inside the cylinder, x squared plus y squared equals five. So if I plot that in a different color, that is like a smaller circle here that has radius square root of five, square root of five. And then we go up like this. So here I could also draw that circle. And basically what we want now is the area that is below the red surface, above the plane z equals zero, and inside the green cylinder. So how can we find that? Try to think of that yourself. So now you know what the question is and try to think how you could do this using probably integration because we need a volume here. So I would advise you to try to solve it yourself. Pause the video, solve it, and then come back and see how you could have found this. So welcome back. I hope that you paused the video indeed. Um, the first thing you should realize is that it's very convenient here to use polar coordinates, not Cartesian, but polar coordinates. Because um, if you pick x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, then the green circle x squared plus y squared equals 5 that becomes r squared equals five. And of course that is a lot easier. Then also the red surface, so this one, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals nine. If you do that in polar coordinates, what you find is r squared plus z squared equals nine. So z, the positive z value, because we need the top bit of the sphere, is apparently given by the square root of 9 minus r squared. So if we are going to compute now um, the volume that is being asked, then we can do that, we can find that by computing the volume, let's call that capital V, the volume that we need to find, is now the integral and then in polar coordinates from 0 to 2 pi d theta, because, well, it's we need the full circle, it's rotation symmetric. And then we integrate from zero to the square root of five. So that is the green cylinder, that's in, that's in the ground plane. And then the function we need to integrate is the square root of nine minus r squared. And then you should realize that because we work in polar coordinates, we get r dr. So the extra r that we have here is due to the polar coordinates. So now the most difficult step has been done. We have written this volume as an integral. So let's go to a new slide and try to find out the integral now. Um, so what we have is that v equals integral 0 to 2 pi d theta integral from 0 square root of 5 and then 
r times square root 9 minus r squared dr. The integral over theta is very simple. That just gives us a 2 pi. So we get 2 pi times the integral from 0 to square root of 5 r times square root 9 minus r squared dr. And it is very convenient to do this one with substitution. So use integration. Integration by substitution. Substitution. So that's one of the techniques you have seen in calculus to find integrals. And we pick what is under the square root. So I'm going to call u equals 9 minus r squared. Then if I do that, then I find that du equals minus 2r dr. And then we have most of the bits and pieces because now I find that v equals 2 pi times. And then let's rewrite this a little bit. So I'm going to write this as 0, square root of 5, square root 9 minus r squared. I would like there to be a minus 2r dr. That is not there because I put a, an extra minus 2 there. So I need to compensate for that with a minus 1 half. And then I am going to go to the new variables. If r equals 0, then apparently u is 9. So I'm going to integrate from 9 up to if r equals square root of 5, then this here becomes 9 minus 5 is 4. So up to 4 square root of u du minus 1 half. So I find minus pi times. Then I need to find an antiderivative of the square root of u. That's u to the power 3 over 2, 2 thirds. In between u equals 4, u equals 9. And if I plug in these values and I compute this, then you will find minus 2 pi over 3, 4 times square root 4, minus 9 times square root 9. And if you compute this, let us continue here on this side, equals minus 2 pi over 3 times 8 minus 27, and altogether that gives 38 pi over 3. And hopefully that is one of the options. So let's see here. And indeed, we see that option E is the correct answer here. So I hope this is all clear, and I'll see you in the next video.